it doesn't come back. Take out. the sunglasses. <laughs> the spoils already. Yeah. Oh, really? Bodies. Did you put a sticker number on this one? Oh, yeah, one, two, three, one. So, one sixty has a little chest place. I'll leave with the other. What? I get that. We're all the same. Yes, I get it. Just right there. The bigger one that's my finger. Oh. Is this thing set for her walk? I gotta go to the doctor. I'll be back. Yeah, it's turned off. <laughs> it's turned off. Should be uh, two two nine. <laughs> We're from the government, we're here to help you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Pavarazzi. Where's Lily? Where's Lily? Right here. You're the officer, you're supposed to be protecting me. She stood her ground for a little bit. We heard the hollering. Yeah, we heard. I said, okay, they're at the dead. Like, Mom was, uh, she was had she, between her legs. Front was legs. she alert? Mom was a little alert. Uh, I, I heard, when I heard him cry, I knew she'd, she'd stood up and fallen off. We never heard them cry. We heard you all crying. Yeah, that's, that's exciting. Not much to shake. It's all old and quiet. That's, that's old, I think. Get 161 Smith. Yeah. 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 Yeah, but the <laughs> the upper, lower, basically, everything. There's one sixty two point eight percent. Wendy, that female we caught was she was feisty. Oh yeah, was she? Yeah. She was a good mom. She didn't want to give him up. And she had him between her front legs? <laughs> her neck is one sixty point two point three. She was, she's a good she's mom. A good mom. <laughs> She'll raise both of these. She's a good mom. That's good. Up to the eight. They're walking. Length is yeah, 56. Oh, they are. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, they're small, like, uh, for whatever reason, but they're they're walking, so they're, you know, not babies. So they got, they got all of these. You've got lots of things. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I grab the hand? I do. You're a grandpa. Yeah. Well, what do you think she's doing right now? Just pacing? Well, I think she's probably searching. I mean, she left. Mm -hmm. She walked away pretty slow. Yeah, she walked away pretty slow. She's probably haven't left the little den spot they're in yet. Yeah. But once they do that, they get, they're pretty quick. Can you imagine this is your first outing? Yeah, I know. They feel like they've been abducted. Did it not come? It's one of the others. But I just put it in there. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> 
there's no telling. Oh. 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 Oh, average, okay. Oh, wow. Look at that. Wow. Less powerful than the regular radio call. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah. I'm just, I've always been around as a pleasure to be with Brigadier General uh, Richard Gallant, G-A-L-L-A-N-T. I'm the Land Component Commander for the Florida National Guard and the Training Site Manager for Camp Landing Joint Training Center. Sir, tell me why it's important that uh, we have programs like this at Camp Landing and it looks like we have a healthy bear population here. Uh, uh, Tom, this is just an example of uh, the commitment that the Florida National Guard and the United States Army as a whole has to stewardship of the environment. You know, we, as our training land decreases, it, this just emphasizes the partnership we have with our, our sister state agencies on making sure that we have the best possible habitat and we're maintaining healthy populations of whatever species share our training lands with us. It's good. It allows us to, to use the training land more efficiently and it also allows for a healthy uh, use of the land by the native species on the, on the property here at Camp Landing. Roland Garcia, I'm the Regional Director for the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, North Central Region. Sir, why is this important that we're, uh, we're doing this at Camp Blanding with these bears? Well, it's Camp Blanding special. It's, we've always been a good partner with Camp Blanding and uh, we work well together and there's been some, some cooperative agreements to work on bears in Camp Blanding. We are kind of in that um, the corridor area for these bears between two big populations. And uh, we do want to see what the bears are doing and how they're apparently thriving here on Camp Blanding. What's really neat about this, this event today is this is actually the first time that we've put our hands on some cubs at a den that have been birthed here at Camp Blanding. So I think it's a pretty special day that we've been able to document that we've got bears uh, doing pretty good here on Camp Blanding, pretty good on during, you know, in these corridor areas and that they're actually reproducing and denning and having their, their young on, on lands like this. Where are we at on time, Brian? We need to go. Yeah, we gotta go. Right. We need to go. Say goodbye. I'm Walter McCown, I'm a bear researcher with Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. Uh, it's M-C-C-O-W-N. Um, I've uh, working on a, a bear research on Camp Landing and we have uh, this is a area that's fairly recently colonized and it has a small population of bears and we this past summer we um, collared several bears uh, seven and uh, a couple of those were females one of the females uh, has apparently had uh, uh, is denning on, on the Camp Landing and a natal den and we think that uh, you know she had uh, offspring probably about the end of January and we will be this morning we'll be going in and uh, obtaining those cubs uh, to work them up we put a chip in them to identify them later we'll actually be putting a very small lightweight and expandable collar on those cubs so that uh, we can track their movements with their mother what we're doing is a little bit unique it's the first study that we've done outside of a large core, popula uh, core population. This uh, Camp Blanding lies between two large populations in Ocala Forest and in Osceola National Forest. And these bears have traveled through what we refer to as a corridor, which is uh, just a matrix of natural lands uh, that uh, still are intact enough that uh, large animals can wander and bears do wander between Ocala and Osceola and uh, they've come on um, Camp Blanding and been able to colonize it.